680's Richard Southern joins us on this Friday. Hello, Richard. Francis, how you doing? It's not going to rain on you, I hope. It looks <laughs> threatening out there. I don't want the business report to go into rain delay today. So it I won't hope you're be soggy. Be okay. It'll be okay. okay. Your hair uh, would be ruined. It's just ruined. You know it doesn't move. <laughs> there's <laughs> there's okay. so much product in it. It would take a hurricane. I, I mean, the wind right now is like 80 kilometers an hour. And look, it's not moving. Steady. It's very yeah. good. Nice job. And nice it's job. real for now. <laughs> So uh, let's talk about this video game. It's really controversial. It's from a Toronto area company. It's being called racist. Even the premier is taking aim at it. Yeah, so it's from a Markham video game developer called Big O Tree, and the game is called Dirty Chinese Restaurant. Oh, boy. Yeah, so uh, catching all sorts of flack here uh, because you play uh, as a chef in the restaurant who chases cats and dogs with a cleaver, who scavenges for ingredients in the dumpster out back, who dodges immigration officials who show up to the restaurant, and who is also uh, known to gamble what, on what appears to be mahjong uh, in the restaurant. So clearly, uh, it's a racist video game here. The developers, though, say it's satirical and in no way meant to be an accurate representation of Chinese culture. Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne speaking out on Twitter saying, quote, this type of racism has no place in Ontario. This is um, a smartphone game that's about to be released, but Francis, uh, Apple probably won't approve such mm. an offensive title to be listed in its app store, so the developers might have issues selling their game. Yeah, I hope so. Mm. Yeah. Let's talk about Elon Musk. He's got ambitious plans to go to Mars, but he's also showing off a new way to travel around the Earth, and it could really change the travel business forever. I love this. Yeah. How does Toronto to Shanghai in 35 minutes sound? Love I it. Mean, go for yeah, lunch. So he, exactly. He showed off this um, concept video where people in Manhattan took a ferry ride out to a rocket ship, which they're building, by the way. They're building this rocket ship. And they get in, and they blast off, and then they go into space, and the rocket comes down, which is technology that... SpaceX has developed, the rocket lands by itself, and it in, lands in Shanghai 35 minutes after it leaves New York. The rocket could carry 100 passengers, would travel at 18,000 miles per hour, and you might think it would be expensive, mm -hmm. but Musk, Musk says it would cost the same as a full fare economy seat once they get this up and running. Now, uh, SpaceX has sent cargo to the space station, but they've yet mm -hmm. to launch a single person into orbit. So it's a long way to go. They have to <laughs> demonstrate that this is safe. And of course, he's talking about going to Mars in four years. So it's very, very ambitious. But uh, who knows? We could be, as you say, going for lunch in China in the near future. That would be incredible. And uh, I think you and I need a seat <laughs> to try it out. We'll see. That'd be fun. Get some good uh, Chinese food over in uh, Shanghai for, for lunch. As long as they serve coffee, because today is International Coffee Day, and we sure love our Java, don't we? Oh, we do, and we have some fresh statistics about just how much uh, Canadians are drinking coffee and what type of coffee they're drinking. We drink, we guzzle down 4 billion cups of coffee a year here in Canada. Uh, more coffee, we drink more of it than uh, we do tea, water, beer, juice, or wine. 45% of it is, is drip, percolated coffee. 44% pods, it's a very popular way now, Keurig uh, devices, 11% instant. Um, you know, it, it's interesting to think we took, Francis, all the money we've spent on coffee and mm -hmm. instead of buying Java with it, invested it, we'd actually have a, a lot of money. So if you took, say, uh, $3.20 that you'd spend on coffee every day and invested that at about a 6% return, you'd have more than $337,000 <laughs> 50 years from now. I'd rather uh, have the coffee, though, quite frankly. Would you? I think I would. I'd take the money. <laughs> no, I'd want the coffee, let's be honest. Yes, you would. Yeah. So today marks the end of the third quarter, and it turned out to be the best one uh, of the year for Bay Street. Yeah, it's been a rough year for the TSX, but uh, things were good in September because the price of oil rose. So let's take a look. TSX in the month of September was up 2.7%. For the third quarter, for the last three months, the TSX gaining 2.9%. The Dow up 4.9% of the quarter. S&P 500, which closed at a record high today was up 3.9 percent over the past three months and the nasdaq was up 5.8 so good looking q3 francis so where's gas going this weekend it's going down a penny we'll take that going down to about a dollar 11.9 at most gta stations we're paying about eight cents more now than we were on this day a year ago you know just thinking about the weekend you got to clean the house right and uh if you don't want to bother there is a new automatic cleaning ball
on the market that does all the dirty work for you. I need this. Show me, please. And it, it's as cute as it is functional, Francis. It's a robot cleaning ball. It's a fluffy little robotic duster. It has a mind of its own. It roams freely around your house, cleans your floor, shrouded in pink microfiber to attract dust and dirt. It's also a great cat toy. Cats uh, go crazy for this, apparently. Uh, changes direction whenever it hits an obstacle. Don't know if it's quite worth the price tag at 50 bucks, but uh, you don't have to lift a finger. It goes around and cleans for you. Now, is there a robot that cleans the little ball? <laughs> then you have to clean the ball, so I, I don't understand how that works. And on and on it goes, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, we'll have to pass on that. All right, Richard, have a great weekend. <laughs> yeah, you too. We'll see you Monday.